Ride the Car Guy here, and today we're going to remove the cowl off of the Nissan Xterra. Now the cowl, or as it's better known, that plastic piece uh, in between your windshield and your hood, uh, is really just a kind of a decorative piece that covers up your air intake, it covers up uh, the transition between the windshield and the hood. In the case of the Xterra, it's also where your windshield wipers are, where your windshield uh, fluid nozzles are, and your antenna actually goes through it as well. Now in Nissan vehicles, uh, the plastics are kind of notorious for uh, being easily sun faded and uh, getting brittle and kind of cracking. Mine just happens to be sun faded, so all I'm going to do is just remove it to paint it. But if you're removing it for, you know, to replace it or if it's broken, obviously this is the video for you. Between the hood and the cowl is a place where a lot of debris can actually find itself. So what we're going to do is just uh, lift up the hood. We're just going to grab a shop bag, vacuum it off, and then we'll start disassembling. We're going to start with removing the windshield wipers and really uh, it, it's pretty simple. You just uh, lift this plastic protector off of the end and you'll expose just a nut. All you need to do is loosen that nut. This is 14 millimeter. Just loosen it and uh, you'll be able to take them right off. Once the nut is off, there's still spring tension in this arm. So if you just lift it back and put it in its kind of up position and then just take something and gently apply pressure to it to uh, start taking it off. It's still going to be kind of tight on that nut, but the motor's underneath and the motor is mounted to the side of the car on the inside, probably the firewall. And so we want to be careful not to kind of really rank on those mounts. So I just gently pushed around it with my body clip uh, remover and then I just kind of rocked it back and forth um, by the joint and then it came right off. Do the same with the other windshield wiper and then we can move on. Now these studs that hold the windshield wipers on uh, have teeth on them and that's obviously so when the stud turns the windshield wiper turns with it, right? It doesn't just turn inside of it. Um, but this is a good opportunity to take like a wire brush and just kind of clean those teeth and uh, make sure that they're free of any debris before you put the windshield wipers back on at the end of the job. Now your radio antenna actually goes through the cowl so all you need is just a little seven millimeter uh, wrench and it's actually got two flat sides on it. So you just slide it onto the flat side and then it just unscrews. So just unscrew that and set it aside. You want to remove the seal uh, in the front of the cowl because it actually holds down the cowl to the front of the engine bay. One side just has a T-shaped piece of plastic. So you want to pull to one side, lift, and then pull off the other. And you'll see that. The rest can be pulled off with the body clip remover. So just do that all the way down and across and uh, you can just pull that away from the engine bay. While you're at it, pull out these body clips on each edge and they just come out, well mine are broken, but they can just come out with a body clip remover as well. Um, but mine obviously I need to replace. Now we're actually gonna start popping the cowl off. It's just some clips at this point that line the cowl. And then obviously we have our nozzle uh, hoses that need to be removed once we get enough space. So I'm gonna start from one side and lift and just start popping the body clips out. All right, so now we have enough space that we can actually lift the cowl out and just move it back a little bit because you still have your hoses attached to your nozzle. At this point, if you lift up, you'll see that you have your hoses here and you can just pull them out of these little clips. All right, and then you can just slide it off of the hose. Be careful not to actually tear the, uh, the hose because you'll be in a whole lot of hurt. So once that's off, you can actually pull the entire cowl away. Now this is another really good opportunity to go down in here and clean everything off. Uh, right where your windshield meets the cowl, a lot of stuff gets in there. And then uh, anything that's fallen in there, you can go retrieve now if you have that issue. You know, since we're here, uh, I might as well just show you how to remove the uh, windshield wiper motor. It's actually very simple. You have this electrical connector here. You just pull that off with your fingers. This is just the clip that pushes into the uh, aluminum frame here. You just pull that out with a little body clip remover. And then you have three bolts that look just like this. One, two, and then there's one right behind this. You can't miss it. So you remove those three, make sure your electrical is clear, and that entire assembly will just come right out. 
Now the reason I'm taking my cowl out is just because it severely needs to be touched up. Uh, you know, you can see there's scratch marks here. This was the actually the original color of the cowl, right? Because this part sat under the hood so it wasn't fried by the sun. And uh, it's just dirty. So I'm going to clean it off, give it a paint job, and then just reinstall it. And reinstalling it is just the opposite of what we did. Pushing all the body clips back down, uh, putting your seal back in, and uh, reinstalling the hose and your windshield wipers. One other quick tip, if you do decide to paint, uh, make sure you throw some tape or something over top of these nozzles because you don't want to paint them shut uh, and then surprise yourself with the lack of any windshield washer fluid. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe if you want more content like this and I will see you in the next one.